So playing this DLC prior to its release on PC, I quickly came across a weapon I knew upon me first picking it up and shooting it, said weapon was going to be one of the most powerful or the most powerful weapon in the game. Playing on PC though I was limited in testing due to my entire stash being on Xbox. Well people, I am back on Xbox, I have this weapon and I can truly test its true potential and its power and see what this thing is capable of. The weapon is the Anarchy and people if you haven't seen this yet, watch this space. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So this new addition exclusive to the guns of Love and Tentacles DLC is a TDR shotgun. What this does specially is with every automatic reload or kill it grants a 30% damage buff and also reduces accuracy. This stacks 10 times so it stacks up to 300% extra damage. Like what? Now like I said at the start of the video, I first got this thing on PC and was limited in my testing and still even then, what this thing was capable of was off the charts. But now I'm back on Xbox and have a much better variant anointment to Zane, the results of my testings are absolutely astonishing, as you will see. So firstly if you don't know, what's great about this weapon is the fact to stack that damage as long as you don't reload yourself, you can miss shots, even purposely miss shots if needs be, and still not lose that stacked damage. So auto reloading 10 times or killing 10 enemies or mixing both, you are left with a weapon which in my opinion is the most powerful all around weapon in this game. So after 10 stacks of my anointment coming into play here, you can see I'm easily doing 2 million damage per shot with this thing against that test dummy. That 16 million damage per clip of 8 shots, that's just absolutely crazy. And because your shotgun isn't limited to either or in terms of targets at range or ones right in front of you like the lab, it's much more efficient in so many scenarios. In fact, I haven't come across any incident this game offers where this thing hasn't been my go-to weapon and it's been absolutely crazy good. In the background now you are seeing just how powerful this weapon is. And yes, although my Zane Winter Soldier build helps out and it's one of the best Zane builds in the game, Game damage wise there are far more powerful vault hunter builds in this game which could make this thing even crazier damage wise so after my initial thoughts upon getting this on pc thinking at the time it truly could be indeed the most powerful weapon in the game that's been confirmed for me under my testing now and when i say most powerful i say most powerful as in the most efficient within its power because at the end of the day there probably are snipers in this game like the school masher which could deal more damage in a short burst this efficiency wise is on another level. So yeah guys go get this anarchy. The weapon is a world drop on Xylurgus but you can either use one of my two legendary farms I've already covered. Both of you will find linked within the video description. But yeah people this must get weapon makes easier work than anything I've used so far. The TDO anarchy is guys in my opinion the best weapon in this game right now. And on that note we have come to the end of the video. I will leave you now to watch what this thing is capable of against many many bosses this game throws at you. If you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Do some work, draw. Cover! 
sure will you. A monkey gets. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. See that? 